Hello, I'm Brooke Reams with Brocade Product Marketing, and I'd like to talk about some of the changes going on in data centers today. A number of our customers are talking about the stresses on the data center network, and these are being driven by a couple of factors. First, more and more data becoming digital, and second, more of their x86 servers are becoming virtualized with virtual server technology. What's going on is this is placing more stress on one of the fundamental technologies in the network, Ethernet. Now, Ethernet's been around for a long time and very stable and quite adaptable. It originally had a protocol called Spanning Tree Protocol. And the job for Spanning Tree Protocol is to remove routing loops in the network. If you have loops, then frames don't go where they need to go. So all networks have to get rid of loops. And Spanning Tree does a good job of that, fairly simple protocol. The problem is Spanning Tree creates a new tree out of a collection of switches, has a root switch, and creates a single path all the way down to the leaf. The difficulty is each switch only has one link, so it's a single path network. The other problem is that this can take a long time, sometimes as long as several minutes. So over time, we have uh, updated Spanning Tree, added several new capabilities, one of which is Rapid Spanning Tree and the other Multiple Spanning Tree. And this has been helpful, has reduced the amount of time to create a tree, and with Multiple Spanning Tree, does allow you to have some traffic on one tree and other traffic on a separate tree. But still, there are limitations, in particular, you still have single paths between switches, and convergence time can be unpredictable. Now, when we add server virtualization into the mix, we are really beginning to compound these limitations in Spanning Tree. A couple of things go on with virtualization. First, we are aggregating multiple application traffic onto a single link. And when we do that, the most important application is really the one that drives the availability and the bandwidth for the network. So we need to be able to do multiple paths between switches. Second, we're beginning to combine storage traffic with IP traffic out of those servers. And this has the same problem. For storage, we need multi-path for large bandwidth, and we need the ability to converge very, very quickly if we should change the network. All of these things are still issues with Spanning Tree. What Brocade's been doing is working with several of the standards bodies on innovations. And this includes IEEE, IETF, and ANSI, all of whom are working on, essentially, enhancements to eliminate any of the issues. So for example, the new technologies will allow us to implement multi-path connections between switches, Ethernet switches, uh, allow those paths to be added or removed without reconfiguring the network. Second, we have much better control now over the convergence time, and it becomes very, very short. So all of those capabilities are exactly what you would want when you're beginning to use more server virtualization and you're beginning to push more data on your Ethernet networks. So that's a short story of the transitions happening in the world of Ethernet today.